Join the Join Geek Drums Nation. Nation. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about Gotham Knights Season 1, Episode 2, entitled Scene of the Crime, I believe. I think it's called that. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comment section down below. Anyway, if you are not subscribed and you're new here, you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell so you never miss another video. And for those of you that are returning, share this video, like this video, and thank you for joining the Geek Drums Nation. This episode, it surprised me. It had its good and it's had its bad. So let me address the bad first. The bad is I... I still don't connect with Turner. I'm going to give it a few more episodes. I felt as if some of the things were too, you know, convenient. Like with the Talon killing the antiquities dealer that was holding Duel at gunpoint. And Turner just grabbing a sword. And then the cops are like, oh, we just found an antiquities dealer with a uh, stab wound through the chest. And a sword is missing for Bruce Wayne's off. It's too much. It, it's too convenient if you get what I mean. That may be a nitpick. I may be nitpicking, but that bothered me. It's too convenient. That's like a CW trope that I don't like. That's something that doesn't really happen in shows like Superman and Lois and whatnot. But that's neither here nor there. That's something I did not like. Um, another thing I did not like is the opening. We see the cops driving, then boom, they're just in the Batcave. How did they get in the Batcave? Secondly, Cressida. <laughs> I, I just, I don't like her character. I, 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 it's just... I just don't like her character. What happens to her character, what her character arc will be, you know, going forward. We just got to wait and see, guys. That's something we have to wait and see about. Um, lastly, the whole thing with the GCPD, anything involving the GCPD, especially since the first episode, they just seem like all idiots. I mean, let's be honest. If it's one severed head in a box bagged up, let alone five others, it's going to have a smell. There's no way in the world you're going to tell me that they didn't smell those heads. Like, like, let's just be serious. And you're going to assume that kids got the jump on cops and decapitated them. And sent the evidence to the police station as what, a message? Be serious. Like, what? That bothered me. The one thing that really bothered me was the smell. And then secondly... Harvey, you said you were calling his phone all day. The lady said she hasn't seen him all day. If you heard the phone ringing from the desk, chances are several other people heard the phone ringing from the desk. And if they haven't seen him in about, what, a week? And they just hear his phone ringing from the desk, common sense will tell them, let me check out and see what's going on. That bothered me. That really, really, really bothered me. I will say the rest of the story is cool. The mystery with the Court of Owls, it's really, really interesting. The Talon costume, the first image that was released of it, it looked like trash. In the actual show, it looks great. And the Talon is actually intimidating. It's what you expect the Talon to be from the source material. You know, taking heads, kicking butt. He's very, very strong. And at least we can see the kids can somewhat hold their own against him. They couldn't do it, you know, single-handedly. But... The fight was decent. The fight scene was very, very decent. Um, the whole lead up with uh, Duella and, you know, turning her back on the team because, well, that's just the kind of character she is. Anybody can see that a mile away. I saw that stuff coming. I saw the stuff with the um, antiquity dealer, you know, stabbing her in the back, you know, pulling a gun on her. I saw that coming a mile away. But it's still that, like I, I enjoyed that. Like that had me invested in the episode, guys. Um. Carrie. I I really do like Carrie. I really, really do like Carrie. Um, the opening scene when they were, you know, still in clothes from the store, and Turner's like, we have to bring all the stuff back, yada yada yada. Then they run outside and they run into Carrie. And Carrie's like, Break uh, I got a report of a BE. That means she's been, you know, monitoring the stuff. She's trying to step up and be the vigilante that, well, from what we know, Bruce would not let her be when he was alive, because we know she was not technically Robin until after he died because she took up that mantle by herself. And I liked the red jacket. It gave me a nod to like small, but also gave me a nod to the um, jacket that Tim Drake wears in the Gotham Knights video game. So I, I thought that that was cool. I thought it was really cool. Um, I did not expect the 
kind of like budding romance between Duella and Turner. I thought that they were going to do it between Turner and Carrie. That's how I was wrong about that one. Got to see where that goes. Um, Cullen and Harper. I like how Cullen wants to become his own person, find his own identity because, well, as he says, he was not able to choose that. So I like that. He wants to clear his name. He wants to clear Turner. He wants to clear everybody's names, especially his. I like that. That's good character development. Like I said, Duella, you expected her to do that. We did not get that much of Harvey this week, though. I just can only assume we're going to get more of him in the coming weeks because we know it's leading to him becoming Two-Faced. Like I said, guys, I did not take formal notes during this episode because a lot of that beginning stuff kind of like confused the heck out of me. But I'll give this episode a 7 out of 10. Just knocked off points for the stuff with the GCPD and some other things that didn't make sense, like the plot convenience. But this episode was not that bad. It surprised me. If you have not seen it, um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I suggest that you guys watch it. Give it a fair shot like I'm doing. Uh, it surprised me. You know, it, the mystery has me, like I said last week, it has me in the palm of its hand. I want to see where this goes. Now, if it becomes like a Naomi situation and I just get bored with it, I'll drop it. But as of right now, I'm enjoying it. But guys, if you have seen it, let me know down below what you thought about it, what you would change about it. And um, are you team um, Duel Learner? Tuella? I don't know how we would do it, but are you team them or do you want him with Carrie? Or do you just not care about the relationship aspect? Also, the fight scene. When Talon, let, let me just jump back to that real quick. When Talon threw the knife and Turner like blocked it, then Carrie blocked it. I found that hard to believe because you didn't expect Carrie to have that type of fight training if she was only Bruce's eyes and ears. But I guess she's been working out on her own stuff. Or maybe we find out more about that later. We do know Turner is a fencer and he had to take martial arts. So yeah, let's just see where that goes, guys. But like I said, let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this episode, if you did not like this episode, and if you just don't care about the show in general, let me know down below. And I just posted earlier a trailer reaction for the new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Netflix special that's getting ready to come out April 19th. And I posted my Superman and Lois review earlier as well. I will link them after this video, though you could just click it. It's probably up here right now. But like I said, like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the alert bell, and join the Geek Drums Nation.